Yeah, alam ko, I, I, I miss your dad. But if you, if you had a chance to, uh, I know it's cheesy, but if you had a chance to talk to him, what would you want to tell him? That we're gonna do a movie together. Your dad? Mm. That, that's what, yun yung gusto kong sabihin sa kanya. If he was still alive, hey dad, guess what? We're gonna do a movie together. Tapos, that would mean that we have to work together and we're gonna do a movie. Because we've never worked on a movie together. But it's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen anymore. Not gonna happen. So... Napakaraming showbiz royalty sa local entertainment pero walang duda na ang pinaka-talented ay ang mga Eigenman. Sa episode ito, kasama namin ang isa sa members ng Eigenman clan at uh, tutulungan niya tayong magbuko sa kanyang mga magulang, kapatid, pinsan, kamag-anak, pati mga ex. Lahat yan, ibubuko niya. Kaya with us, in this episode, one of the most brilliant, probably the most brilliant Eigenman, Sid Lucero. All about the Eigenmans. Okay. Ilan ba ang members ng Eigenman family na nag-showbiz? Ah, ano nag-showbiz? Kala ko lahat-lahat. <laughs> Baka may lahat, makakaligtaan lahat ako. Lahat-lahat muna. Lahat-lahat muna? Lahat, lahat muna? Tapos tayo in one hour? One, two. Hindi <laughs> ko alam. Showbiz. Grandparents? Parents? Kids! Kids of... Tito Mai? 13. Oh, I tapos, think. And you're not counting but the in-laws. Wala pa yung in-laws. And, That's just the kids. The, and the outlaws. Wala pa yung out... Marami, marami kaming outlaws. Dad. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> At what age mo na properly pronounce yung surname mo? I think I always pronounce it well. Even as a, as a child? Yeah. I think I think that is the one thing na sinigurado ni Dad na magawa namin maayos. Kasi during that time, wala pa nakakasabi ng Eigenman. Eh. Okay. That's why Mark Hill, Michael DeMessa, Sherry Hill, walang Eigenman. Eh. I think it was the generation of Ryan, Gabby, and Andy that made it like a household thing, di ba? Yeah. Yeah. Ako sa college, na nun nalaman ko yung Eigenman. Pronounce it. Eigerman, Eigenman, Eigelman, Eigenman, yeah. Sa school. Yeah. Favorite yan. Yeah. Pero sa school, uh, they were able to pronounce Eigenman. Eigenwoman ako, tsaka Eigengirl sa school. Bakit? All boys school. Kailangan na tuksuhan. Eigenman, Eigenwoman, Eigengirl. I get other um, derogatory terms. But who is the first of all? Ryan. Ryan was the first of all. I get Ryan. I get man. Okay. the first of all. Okay. Yes. Gabi. Ryan and Gabby. Halos sabay sila. Parang one year apart or months apart. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Ito na. So, who is the ano ko? Ah, uh, uh, mga bata kayo. Who is the most Ako ata eh. Ako yung nakikipag-awi tapos magsusumbong. Ako ata yung makulit eh. Yeah, cause si Ryan, Jeff, and AJ, they're very like Tito Mike. Very steady, very calm. Eh, I think I got my dad. Sobrang kulit. Tapos si Ryan, ah si Gabby, yung pagkakulit niya is his humor eh. Ako yung physical. Ako yung makulit, yeah. Sino lagi mong kaawa eh? Nung bata ako, Si Gabby, kasi it's not my dad, it's his dad. But it's my dad, not his dad. <laughs> Ganun yung away namin. Why are you calling him dad? He's my dad. No, he's my dad. Kasi iyakan, iyakan na yan. Di namin may tindihan eh, bata pala. So then si Jeff, because we're only 11 days apart. Uh -huh. And I remember my very first sparring experience, iniguro niya sa akin yung ibig sabihin ng uppercut. Eh, hindi ko makakalimutan <laughs> And we've been like fighting ever since. Yeah. But sports. <laughs> yeah. Pero, nung, uh, madalas pa kayo mag-get together nung bata kayo? Yeah. Especially when dad was alive. Especially nung malapit, marami pa sila nandito. And Tita Sheri was still living here. Si Tita Sheri yung lagi nag-host. Tapos si dad yung magluluto. Saan ang bahay ba ni Sheri that time? I think it was Valle. Valle or Residencia. Yeah. Marami. Lagi si Tita Sheri yung nag-host eh. Tapos Spanish uh, dishes lagi? Spanish or Filipino. Depende. Depende kung sino yung pupunta. Uh, ano to? Yeah. Tapos, uh, sino pinakamasarap na yung looking forward kayo na putahe na dinadala? 
My dad is an amazing cook. My dad is an amazing cook. May restaurant. Yeah. But when Tita Shari cooks, she can cook. Ang hindi ko ba natitikpan na food is alam ko kay mama, uh, kay, kay um, dad's mom, mama. But I know that most of dad's recipes are hers. Kaya, you know, si dad talaga. Kanino mas close? Sa kay uncle o kay auntie? Pareho. Pareho, but I think I am able to converse with Tito. Mm. Uh, huh, I had, I've had more. I have had more late night conversations with Tita Sheree. With Tito Mike, I actually go to him more for. He's my dad now, eh? And when dad left, she named dad there. But I haven't been given a chance to ask him for advice. When I was younger, Tito Mike, I heard this about something. What do I do? Tito Mike. See, dad's like this. What do I do? Tita Shari, what's wrong with my dad? Yeah. So, anyway, I'll pick up. bully? Bully? Yeah. Sa amin yung, sa generation ko? Sa lahat. Gabby or dad? G Gabby or dad? Yeah, but um, Gabby kasi is a pillion of bully. Yung ma 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 mahirig mga asar. Uh -huh. And it's all words. Everything's words. See, dad is the same thing. Pero mas grabe mga asar si Gabby. Hindi eh, tumitigil yun. Ano, pinakamabait si Gabby? Uh, iba yung bully niya eh. Lambing niya is bully eh. Yung <laughs> lambing, yun yung lambing niya eh. Teka, pinaka-responsable? Ira. Uh, Ira? Ira? Andy. Ang pinaka-responsable? For me ah. Uh -huh. Ira, Andy. Pinaka irresponsible. Ikaw pa rin. <laughs> at saka si Dad. <laughs> Ako at saka si Dad. Ay, but I love you. <laughs> but I love you. <laughs> Sige, pinaka mabait. Akala ko si Gabby, pero... I would have said Gabby. Pero kung bait lang ni Gabby yung pag-uusapan, we all have it. I think we all have it. But he is the most accommodating to everybody, including strangers. He is just... I don't know how he does it. Kahit sa taping, 2 o'clock ng umaga, he's still entertaining and making sure everybody's okay. I think it's, I think it's a social standard of Bait Gabby. Yeah. Kaya tama na ay gano'n mabait. Yeah. Sa lol, lol, yeah. lol, lola. Everybody na. Huwag ka sa mga, ano nga, outlaws. Everybody, oh, everybody. Outlaws, no, but I think Gabby is the sweetest uh -huh. in terms of to, to everybody. Okay. Kasi ito na. Punta tayo sa pelikula. Sinong ano to? Bakit nga ba ang mga Aigen Man walang takot when it comes to mga sex scenes, nudity? Wala talaga. From, well, except for your lolo and lola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think it's because of the way we were brought up. Hindi naman kami in-expose sa mga ganyang pelikula. In fact, I remember being sent out of the room every so often. Even though during that time, wala pa tayong ratings eh. But, um... Um, I've always been exposed to art books. I've always, it's my favorite books in the encyclopedia and the child craft is the biology group, uh, bio, by the biology book. So uh, I, I think when I grew up, nudity was like, an, it was like nothing. Uh, my mom was a model. She would wear clothes on the ramp, which walang underwear, and it was very free flowing. And it was never introduced to me as a sexual thing. It was beauty in its most purest form. The less clothes you have, it's just appreciating a woman's form. And I think that's why we don't care. At saka naniniwala kami na, I'm speaking for everybody, that uh, we're in a weird stage now of what is being censored and what shouldn't be censored. Um, we'll censor everything in movies, but statues in the middle of the road or in a hotel room are fine. But if you depict a girl looking at herself in the mirror and she's looking at her where her Brent's breast was once was okay. that's considered one breast exposure that's changed that's not even sexual it's a woman mourning the loss of her feminine her woman womanhood diba? and this is this actually happened and so i believe that's why i do things like this because i believe that censorship doesn't work and i think it's about time that we separate nudity from sex it's very different but you've seen yung mga movies ng Uncle yes. Michael Moore and your dad. Yes. So, oh, sino ang mas bold? Yung generation nila Daddy. or generation nyo? I actually asked Tito Mike this one recently. Tito Mike, how do you do 
your love scenes back then. This is what he said. You know what, Demi? I think you have done love scenes very differently from me. We had a chuk chuk and then um, lie down out, out, off camera, tapos katu moon or katu tulo ng gripo. Uh, during my time, it was ano ne, uh, Cinemalaya. It was all these um, festivals, and they were pushing it. Realism was a thing, and to me, I really feel like that's what film is. It's uh, I, it could be a caricature of life, or it could be you actually taking a photograph of it and then capturing it, making it as real as possible. And I don't, I really don't believe that penis means sex. I really don't believe that capturing sex and showing it on screen necessarily has to be sexual. I don't think so. Like for example, this movie, only one scene was with consent. The entire film, just one. The rest was non-consensual. It was uh, prostitution. It was rape. And if people still get turned on by something like that, then there's something wrong. Uh, things yeah. that, that happen in real life that we do not like to happen. We don't want this to happen, yeah. but we don't have to be like, oh my god, right? Yeah. Yeah. So in other words, so na ko concede kaya na mas bold talaga yung generation yun. Nowadays, okay, I think. Okay, so. generation yun. Pero wala tayong pen. May pen na ba tayo ngayon? Meron na, de ba? <laughs> May pen sila nun eh. Meron pero hindi naman hindi naman na involve ang ano mo, ang dad mo at your uncle. Wala Ay di ko alam, di ko alam. No, 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 no. No, no, they were not. Ah, talaga? Good. <laughs> they were not. They were both, but not that. Yeah. You know? oh, okay, okay. In okay. their defense. Okay, okay, okay. Come to their thank defense. You. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I love No, 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 no. Wait lang. <laughs> thank you. So, uh, I come from that generation. But <laughs> so, the uh, so, uh, so generation, you know, who's the boldest now? Oh, because of the... Because of Virgin Forest. Okay. Virgin Forest. And Viva sound. Max, okay. yeah. Oh, sige. Okay, this one. Ryan. Ryan. Okay. Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. Ryan. Yeah. Ryan. Ryan. Pag nagtanggal ng pantalon yun, para siya nakasu chaps ng pang cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> para siya nakamantalon pa rin. Kasi pati, pati si Sherry, ang arms siya, ay small lang. Uh, yeah, pero small lang. Small lang. Mm -hmm. But I've never seen Tita Sherry with hair. <laughs> no? Lagi siyang groomed. Lagi siyang groomed yun. I can, one thing about the Aguinos, well, groom dog. Okay. Sige, uh, pinakamatampuhin. Tito Mike. Paano magtampo si Mike sa Demesa? Like this. Quiet. Hindi ka nakakusapin. Tapos kapag hindi na niya kaya, I'm tampo with you. What? What? Next time na lang, you greet me on my birthday. <laughs> Parang ganun. Suwabe lang. <laughs> Just in case, okay. If, let's say, uh, marriages uh, fall apart, uh, sino, uh, how, do, how do you rally behind each other? We never pick sides. In fact, I've noticed this of all my family members. If, let's say, I went up to my brother and said, ah, we split up. So stupid. My brother would be like, what did you do? They always find out what's wrong and they always try to find out both sides. Because once, once you're married to us, you'll always be part of us. Eh? Especially if you have kids. Even the girlfriends. We're like, you'll always be my cousin or sister. Yeah. Like si Gina Lahari still. Tita Gina is my tita. I don't care what went through between that's between them. My relationship with Tita is mine alone and hers, yeah. Pinakamitindi ang topa. Mark Hill, Sid Lucero. Imot <laughs> amat talaga. Mark Hill, Sid Lucero. Mark Hill, Sid Lucero. Talaga yung matindi ang topa. Naman ako ata eh. Pero marami kang kwento tungkol kay Mark Hill. That I want to know. Yan! Tell me about my father. <laughs> Do we have time? Si Ricky, naging time. I have time. <laughs> Hindi, pero kasi ingit ko lang yun. Basta, ano to, well, Jack ni Jose. Yes, yeah. Hindi ba contact si Jack ni Jose? Talagang nag-shooting yata at ano to, nakasaw na sa promise, hindi mo ka-parek. I told you! Kasi nung araw, ano pa eh, tatadayal ka pa sa, ano to, operator eh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kasi nagbabasag na siya sa hotel room. Oh my God. Tapos, until umawak lang, si Ben Bolroco lumabas sa nakabrito. 
Naniniwala What? na ako sa'yo. Hindi ko talaga pinakatok pa. Marami, marami. Hindi, ito. Ay, ganyan naman ang pinakmayaman. I don't know. Uh, di- uh, uh, Andy? Tita Shari? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> maybe Tita Shari? I don't know. Maybe Andy? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, ito. Uh, ito, ito. Uh, last ano na lang to. Okay. Uh, sino sa mga eigenman ang pinakamagaling? Diba, busa kasi ito. Oh. Kasi ito kasi because ano to. No, that so, depends. Ano na orian mo eh. No, that Kaya depends. Yeah, okay. that depends. I really believe that each and every one of us have our own thing. Okay. Like Gabby does his singing and he likes to do his TV. And I know he loves film, pero hindi kami ever nagpatong-patong ng career path. Eh. Um, Jeff is the same thing. He's more of the matinee idol. AJ almost the same thing, pero parang hindi siya umabot sa char- sa full blown character actor niya eh. papunta pa lang siya doon lum- naglumi pa na siya eh. yeah. Ryan I think Ryan and me are much closer we're both character actors but Ryan is more of like brooding and scary and you know I can't do what he does I can't do what they do either <gasps> I have an answer no offense people my family I truly believe Maxine Eigenman has something inside of her that if she taps into it, it will blow everybody out of the water. I really think so. And I don't think she's been given enough chances to get there. But if I'm just going to look at that fire inside that we all want to show on screen, my sister has the brightest one. Okay. This much I have to say, she's the most underrated Eigenman. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, alam ko, I, I, I miss your dad. But if you, if you had a chance to, uh, I know it's cheesy, but if you had a chance to talk to him, what would you want to tell him? That we're gonna do a movie together. Your dad? Mm. That, that's what, yun yung gusto kong sabihin sa kanya. If he's still alive, hey dad, guess what? We're gonna do a movie together. Tapos, that would mean that we have to work together and we're gonna do a movie. Because we've never worked on a movie together. But it's not gonna happen, not gonna happen anymore. Not gonna happen. So, that's your message. Oh, you want it to be a message? I hope I'm doing well. Following through with what you've done for everybody. The legacy is priceless. And I know na medyo tinarnish ka ng konti, but we'll, I'm working my... I'm working so hard to get back on track. And I think you're going to be proud of me. Save a beer for me when I get there. <laughs> to Ralph Eigenman, Mark Steel, yes, he's doing very, very well. That much I can assure you. Thank you. And we will take care of him. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. I, well, I love the Eigenman. That's it? You're Lola and Lola. This is like the longest and most bitin interview I've had with you. <laughs> <laughs> longest and most bitin. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really enjoyed that. Thank you.